Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on everyone? Norwich City Central here, back for another match day vlog on the train going up to Brentford now. Really looking forward to this one. I went to Brentford twice last season and saw us win both games in a 3-1 uh, win in the Carabao Cup and also a 1-0 win thanks to a James Madison stunning goal. So I've got a good record at Brentford and hopefully Norwich City can get a, get a good result today. We haven't, uh, we haven't lost uh, away from home since uh, August so that's a really positive sign and hopefully we can win and close the gap to first place. So let's talk about, let's touch on the last game Derby. We hadn't lost since the 6th of October and that loss kind of gave us a bit of a reality check. Um, showing you know how hard it's going to be this season, but you know we we it's just the floodlights weren't it? it really got once the floodlights went off we lost all momentum um, three to up and then to ten minutes left just really sloppy goals to concede and particularly that fourth goal in which Christoph Zimmerman completely lost his man so looking for a better results to take a response today against Brentford but what we have learned for Norwich City this season is they've got great character great bottle and when we lost against Stoke earlier on in the season we had Villa Forest and Brent, all Brentford again. Um, in a seven day spell where we won all three so Norris City have shown they've got great character this season hopefully we can win this one um, it's about half twelve now so we've got two and a half hours to kick off in terms of a line up I really want to see Jordan Rose start this game actually he's got something to prove um, and I think he deserves a chance and in particular after his last last kick in the game miss against Derby I think he, he needs to be on that pitch and there'll be a lot of energy and I hope the players use that energy today because they're going to be probably still quite angry after how they lost Derby so they need to show a lot of energy and hopefully hopefully we can get the result. Brentford are well, going to be a tough team though although they're sitting 18th and have struggled since Dean Smith has left. Um, they've only conceded one goal in the last three games, so it's going to be a tough game. And by all accounts, I'm not expecting this to, for, it, for it to be easy. Um, but in terms of a score prediction, I'm going to back a 2-1 Norwich. I love this away day. You know, four pubs at each corner. Although I probably won't be drinking too much after New Year's New Year's Eve celebrations, um, and of course on the terraces as well. Everyone loves being on the terraces and having a good time with their mates. It's a proper old school stadium, and hopefully Norwich City can get the result. So yeah, uh, I'll see you at Brentford. Follow me around, and let's go. So just seen the team lineups and it's very interesting. Uh, it's an unchanged team with uh, Max Ahrens, Christoph Zinnemann, uh, Tim Closer and Ben Godfrey, Mario Rancic, Tetti, Stiegelman, Cantwell, Ono Hernandez um, and of course Timmy Puckett. It's very interesting that it's an unchanged team. I personally would have loved to have seen some changes when you consider we're playing what three, three games in six days but at the end of the day Daniel Farke has got these players very fit. They're, you know, they're probably the fittest team in the league. Uh, we see that because they keep on going to the end always, always strong. And I would like to see Rose come in, maybe Grant Hanley for Christoph Zinnemann because he's been struggling, but an unchanged team. The next time you'll see me is in the terraces, let's hope Norris City can get this win and um, stay away from West Brom. Come on, you yellows.
City nil. And if Norwich City uh, replicate that kind of performance in the second half, they're not going to win this game. Really poor from Norwich. Um, first 10 minutes we looked bright, but it's been really sloppy. Um, Luke, your thoughts on the first half, mate? Terrible half for the worst of season. I mean, the really first, first 10 minutes we looked good, but uh, I think after Marcus Sheepman's injury, we've really struggled to put off the top of the ball. Yeah, everything through the middle is completely going wrong. Out wide is not too bad, but needs to improve. But saying that though, the goal the goal we did concede was another corner. How many how many are we gonna keep making? Too Space. many set pieces. Yeah. We need to sort it out defensively. Uh, and what's what's been your opinion of um, the back line at the moment? The back four. <laughs> Not the greatest at the moment, but might improve, you never know. We'll see. Well we've got a big big half needed here because as I've said we've been really, really poor, but score prediction, it doesn't look like it's gonna turn around, but then we are Norwich with a key to make goals. Win. Yeah. You've got to keep the belief with this team because they're a team, they're a second half team, Norwich City. Bring on Jordan Rhodes. Hey, the game's crying out for Jordan Rhodes. We just, you know, we just need a bit of oomph in us. But yeah, big second half. Come on, you yellows. Let's go. Big half need a come on, you yellows. the end of the match day experience and oh my god it was an interesting game first half probably one of the worst performances I've seen from Norwich this season we just couldn't keep the ball we was lethargic and Brentford deserved to be one nil up it was another set piece and those set piece goals have been you know detrimental for Norwich City this season but in the second half we regrouped and as the game wore on Brentford got scared of us and we showed our class the referee had a shocking performance don't quite know how we didn't see some of the, some of the penalties I think that was two stable penalties but we got a point Norwich weren't at their best, but in the last 30 minutes we showed a bit of character, a bit of bottle. And fortunately enough, Tim closed to put the ball into the back of the net. Tim Krul as well was utter class. Um, he made a cr critical save right at the very end of the game to salvage a point for Norwich City. It's an opportunity missed in my opinion because 
Um, Leeds and West Brom have lost and it was a real chance to you know, get closer to the top of the table. But we'll take a point and um, hopefully Norwich now can kick on. We've got a t t basically a two week break until we play West Brom and how critical will that game be? So thanks for watching this Match Day experience. Subscribe to Norwich City Central and I'll see you later.